While copper sulfate crystals, such as this nice specimen, are beautiful and easy to grow, they can take up to a month to six weeks to get one this large. Fortunately, there's a quicker and easier way to do it, growing copper sulfate frost crystals on a sheet of glass. The cheapest source for copper sulfate is root killer, which you can get from most hardware stores. Just make sure to read that it's at least 99% pure copper sulfate. To prepare the glass sheet, use a wax candle to draw a line around the outside edge. This will act like a dam preventing the liquid from flowing off if one side or the other if the glass sheet is tilted. On the inside, place one drop of liquid dishwashing soap and spread it around in an even, very thin layer. This will reduce the surface tension of the uh, copper sulfate solution so it spreads out thinner and will also make it easier to clean the glass off after you're done growing the crystals. Place one to two teaspoons of the growing solution in the center of the sheet and then spread it around to make an even layer. It's best to wear gloves so that you don't get the copper sulfate solution on your fingers. Place the sheet on a horizontal surface and depending on the temperature and humidity and how much copper sulfate solution you put on the glass sheet, within a half an hour to two hours, it will be covered with uh, very attractive copper sulfate crystals. One thing you can do to enhance the blue color is add two teaspoons of blue liquid food coloring to the solution. The food coloring doesn't really color the crystals, but it will stain them as the water evaporates, creating a blue effect. In the following time-lapse video, I placed my sheet at a slight angle with the top being lower than the bottom so that the solution was slightly thicker at the top. What this will do is as the crystals grow, they grow very quickly where it's thin. When they get up to the top and the liquid is thicker, they will slow down and slightly change character.